I watch some reality TV, and uh, one of my favorite shows is called Bar Rescue. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen this show, but I've I really, seen it, yeah. I really like that program. On Bar Rescue, an expert comes in and totally uh, makes over failing bars and nightclubs. They're not going well. He comes in, he kicks fixes ass, them. and he fixes them up and makes them run. Well, the best thing about the show is the host, John Taffer. He's absolutely brutal to the bar owners. It's really fun. Uh, take a clip, uh, look at this clip from the show. Shame on you! How many times have you picked up raw chicken? Have you ever washed your hands? Yes. The f beside myself! Shut it down! Nobody eats! <laughs> yeah, and that's him being nice. That's yeah, nice yeah. Episode. That's his family's restaurant. Well, anyway... <laughs> TBS is always looking for new programming, and they're always asking me, do you have any ideas? So I thought, why not create a whole new reality show with that guy, John Taffer? Why not do it? I was so sure it was a winner, I put all my money into the project. We shot 46 episodes. I wanted to premiere the first episode right here tonight. See what you think. Let's take a look. John Taffer has transformed literally hundreds of bars and nightclubs overnight. But can he do the same for small, family-operated petting zoos? That's one question we forgot to ask. This is Petting Zoo Rescue. The Lafarge family has been running cuddly critters for the last 15 years. Business was booming until a swine flu epidemic scared away most of their customers. And now the Lafarges are getting desperate. Looks like they need a petting zoo rescue. Look at this. No wonder it's a ghost town. This petting zoo is a freaking dump. The floor is literally covered in straw and an owner sampling his own freaking inventory. <laughs> Plus, I'm seeing zero eye contact from the animals. It looks like they don't even want to be pet. I'm going in and shutting this stuff down. <laughs> You're running your petting zoo like a goddamn zoo. I'm just trying to make children happy. Well, you're making me sick. And tell me, is this how you run a family business? We found animal crap on the floor. That's not animal feces. Oh, my bad. Animals create feces. Within just seconds, this feces can create an unpleasant odor. Who did this? Did you do this? Did you do this? Talk to me. I don't know which animal is responsible for this crap, but I want him fired immediately. Go solve the shit dilemma, now. Rebecca, we're sorry. You gotta go. Good. Now we can get to work turning this piece of garbage into a world-class petting zoo. Let's go to work. Barbara, Kenny, when I got here, your petting zoo was a complete disaster. But here's the good news. We created a petting zoo that not only allows customers to pet farm animals, we encourage it. Are you ready to check out your new petting zoo? Yes. On a count of three, turn around. One, two, three. Holy moly. Oh. Will you? I've never. Welcome to Teats. The zoo has a whole new look that will be familiar to customers. Plus, all new uniforms for your staff, and we've added touches of sophistication everywhere. We absolutely love it. I love goats. Since John left, business is up over 70%. Teats is the petting zoo destination. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Teats was shut down four minutes later for serving alcohol without a license to a horse. Mm. We thought we were on to something. I, I can't wait. Yeah.